As they come to the line now for race start, you can see we're going straight into the race. We're trying to get it as quickly uh, done as possible because there are a couple of uh, competitors that, of course, have got uh, early flights uh, out of East London. So no more grid proceedings, etc., etc., as we would normally have. It's straight into race action. And that's possibly why there was a change up on that warm up lap and straight into the start for the ZX 10R Masters Cup earlier on. So, just getting a heads up there on some of the messages that we missed out on while doing commentary. It looks like they're trying to make up as many of the uh, laps lost and time lost during the day to ensure that everybody can catch those early flights if they're on them. So, heading down into Cocabana for the first time, leading things out as always, and uh, pretty much has been. The man to beat here this weekend, Stuart White, although he's been given a very good run for his money and is still being given a, an exceptionally good run for his money there by Arnie Nevelin in the Bobcat and Gosco Audi of Stradale Motorsport. So it's into Africa Mining with the Stuart White out front in the Lamborghini Hurricane Evo 3 with that R8 Audi on his tail. It's the Evo machine, also a Lamborghini Hurricane of uh, Silvio Scribanti. Like, uh, yeah, XO is up into fourth place. So Zolile getting a really good start off the line and uh, getting away from both Aldo Scramanti and on his tail, it's Jonathan Detoy. So right in the closing stages. XO seems to have a bit of a problem. He dropped right to the back of race number one. But uh, he's now fighting hard for race two. That's for sure. And Aldo also coming through in the closing stages to uh, change up his positions. But once again, top two. Off part is towards Rifle. A little bit closer this time from Arnie. And we're going to have a go, possibly on the brakes. He's a lot closer on the brakes and possibly can go around. No, he can't go around the outside of Cocobana. Unfortunately, there's just not enough room out there. And with the banking, it doesn't make it work. So we have to try and find another spot, maybe here on the beach straight. As I say, that, that Lamborghini just pulls two, three cart lengths on acceleration due to the compromised outside line there from Oni going into Cocobana. So he'll lose a little bit of ground with that uh, attempt to overtake. He'll make it up once again here through the complex. Most all these supporters on the sideline, just on the right hand side of that shot. Shouting hard out there for the Bobcat and Gosco team driver. Uh, next weekend, both Zolile and Stuart White's cars will be involved in another championship. I believe uh, Zolile was telling me yesterday that uh, some international drivers coming out for that to share that Lamborghini that Stuart White is piloting. One of them being, of course, Axel Jeffries from South Africa. He's been fighting in international soil for a long, long time, but he'll make a welcome return to South African soil next weekend in that Stuart White car out front. progress yeah has he been able to close that gap down slightly he has so Zolile still controls things and maintains fourth place on track ahead of the toy a lot of people on our social media are asking where Franco is I'm not quite sure guys he was uh, touted to be here with his two cousins the sheriff unfortunately didn't make it down here so we hope you time we get to the Kelani International Raceway for the penultimate round later on this season. Seems an engineered cement and Scuderia Scribanti Lamborghini in third with Silvio at the wheel. Pretty free MR. Slightly different version to the normal GT3 Cup cars that uh, we've seen a few of in this country. 991 spec Porsche and out of the MR Cup which of course is the Porsche series that ran specifically the Nürburgring and the Nordschleifer as well slightly wider body kit on it different configuration to the setup on the car different uh, suspension system I think as well I'm just like I heard correctly from from Charles yesterday in his interview. 
it's certainly not a stock GT3 spec 911. I'll do. That's what trying to close on the back end of John right now. These two Lamborghinis very evenly matched, you can see just by the distance between them. You could literally call this Lamborghini Cup because um, arguably that R8 came from the technology that was brought to the AG group, of course, from Lamborghini side of things, all owned by the big group that uh, consolidates Porsche, Lamborghini, Volkswagen, Seat, and all of the big brands in Europe. A lot of the development that goes into that R8 would have gone into these Lambos. And vice versa. Except usually, not in the GT3 spec if they run in this class, of course, they would have all-wheel drive or quattro on that R8, but they're not allowed to. It has to be a rear-wheel drive car when it runs in A plus or in GT3. And even in the SRO championship as well, it runs as a rear-wheel drive car, not an all-wheel drive car. Because otherwise it would have a huge advantage of course when it comes to the wet conditions that can happen and usually do. But, uh, this is like the car will be nine out two years in a row. So it's white out front. Looking at the lap time, 17s. No, they're not looking to break lap records yet in the second heat. They attempted to try break the lap record in the first heat with slightly better conditions. More heat in the track. It didn't work out for Stuart White. I think his best was a 16 flat. Get into the low 15s if you want to be that record. He did that in qualifying, so 15 11 in qualifying. So he was close to lap record pace but couldn't quite produce it during the race. Half for a stage was reached on the last lap. It's about to get into the second half now completely. With uh, five laps to go and seven completed. Top two, 17024, 17064 between White and Nevelin. Amazing to think that's only a 0 0.4 gap between the two of them as they cross the line in full flight. Looks more than that on the track, looks more than that when you look at it on the screen. But the gap is only 0 0.04 of a second between White and Evelyn as they cross over the uh, finish line and uh, activate that timing beam. Aldo on a bit of a late charge here as well. Seems to have turned the wick up slightly trying to close down on Jonathan Detoy who in turn is doing a similar kind of uh, effort there to get onto Exo's tail. So I think is going to be able to hold him off the straight line speed that he's got in the unlimited car. You can see yeah, he has where Jonathan comes into his own. In the complex he can use his experience and driver skill to close in on Zolile. He might not be getting the exact lines that he needs to coming out of the complex but of course as soon as he gets on the straight and he wants that right foot down it allows him to get away. Watch this now. Darrell will stay with us and you'll see the change of surface flag being shown there. Ooh, I wonder who's had a problem on the circuit. Change of surface down towards Potters. That is definitely not something you want to see. Or maybe it's just, oh, it's something that's come off another car there, heading along the, the main straightaway. You can see bits and pieces of car there. I wonder who's been off and maybe done some damage to the diffuser or a splitter or something like that because that's, that's what it looked like on that main straight. Leader's there. It's Stuart, it's Stuart White gone missing. I think it's Stuart White. I think Stuart White has gone missing. Yes, he has. Stuart White has gone missing. Maybe he ran wide at Beacon, did some damage to the undercarriage of that car, and that's what the change of surface was. 
So as they come through now, this is going to be the Bobcat R8 of Arnie and Evelyn to take the lead with three laps to go. And of course, if there was damage on Stuart White's car, he would have seen it and probably felt it as the car broke pieces off the car. There is Stuart White. Yeah, he's dropped right behind Zolile now. So there's some kind of damage on the Into Africa mining Lamborghini of Stuart White. That is going to move Zolile up into third place, Silvio into second. As I say that, I also didn't pick up on Silvio because I might have missed him. So there's bits and pieces of Stuart's car down the main straightaway. So I would assume something broke on that car in the undercarriage or diffuser, maybe the splitter on the front as he ran wide, I would also assume at Beacon to do the damage to the car. And he's pulled into pit lane. So it's Neverland who leads out now. There is Sylvia, so apologies on that. I didn't see him go through. So I was just contemplating where he was. He's got no damage, so he's still in second. Zolivia is up to third. So we got class A plus one, two, and three. No, we got class A plus one and two. Sylvia, I think, is GD3 this weekend. Well, he was supposed to. He might have changed to A plus. He was actually changed to A plus. No, he's changed to A plus, so it's one, two, and three for A plus at the moment. And GT3 in fourth place with Jonathan Dettori leading that class. He doesn't really have to fight Zolile. Shui's back on track. So a quick little dash into pit lane there. For the Inter-Africa mining team to have a look at that car. See if we, oh, I was going to say, I hope we'll see the back of that car. See what kind of damage might have been done to the car. So we're on to the final lap. Oh, no, we're not. We've still got one to go. Penultimate lap here for the Bobcat and Goss call Audi R8. Only new is going to be loving life here. He's been gifted a chance of a top spot on the podium in the extreme supercars driven by Dunlop at East London Grand Prix circuit. If there's ever a track you want to win at, this is certainly one of them. Lots of crowd support, lots of support from his team as well. As they start the last lap. To see on the sideline in the complex as well. His own sponsors coming to see what he could potentially do here. With this win and the gap he's got, could potentially take overall for the day as well. Only never looking to wrap up an overall victory here. Never mind just the win in class A plus here for Heat 2. But Spendy goes for the last time. Flicks it right into the S. Away from him there on the sideline as he comes through there on the slowdown lap, but he's not slowing down now. He's got a couple of hundred meters to go up this back straight away. Odd meters still to go to the line. And it's going to be a win for the Bobcat Cross Course Tradone Motorsport Audi R8 and Arnie Nevelin in race two of the extreme supercars driven by Dunlop. Brilliant job there from him. Really nicely done. 